Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. I'm about to show you how and the proper steps to execute the one system from DetailJuice.com. Now my one system is my top of the range, so they are the best technology and the highest concentrations out of all of my lineups. Uh, if you've been looking through the site and you've wondered, hey, some of the products are gone. Well, what I'm trying to do is slim down the options for the potential new customer so that it's not so confusing. Uh, what's left now is our pro line, which is the one system that is basically the, the only products that I use besides my Marine series, uh, which is another pro line, if you will. Um, we have the Marine series and we have the off-road lineup and um, we have the original infinite lineup so with those four lines we basically have everything we need plus some um, to pretty much take care of anything uh, detailing related now you can still get the other lines the signature series the recon rescue line um, the ladyworks line the ceram acrylics um, uh, max protect line that that kind of stuff is still available on amazon.com but through the website we're going to stick to the basics uh, I got a pro line, I've got a enthusiast lineup, which the only real difference uh, is the technologies that are used and the concentrations. So uh, the one system, like I mentioned already, is the best of the best. You want the best technology, uh, you want the best, you know, the most concentration out of a product, that's the line you go for. And so for pros, that's what we want. We want to get better value uh, per use and we want more concentration and better technology. I mean, that's the bottom line. Now, some pro lines are designed specifically to basically give you great initial uh, wow factor, but they severely lack in the long-term longevity uh, and the durability. So what I'm getting at is beware of what you're buying. And when you come to detailjuice.com for the one system or any of my other products, feel free to reset, reach out to me first before you place an order. 813-846-4406 is my cell. Uh, if I don't answer the call, leave a voicemail or send me a text message. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, I do my absolute best not to miss any uh, phone calls or send back a message. And I do it with all, all within 24 hours. If you don't hear back from me immediately, give me just a little bit of time. I promise you will hear, hear back from me if I haven't already answered the phone. Um, so if you need something from me, again, 813-846-4406. Behind me, 2020 Camaro 2SS. Um, it is in the Rally Green. They only made that, that color for one year. That was for 2020. Uh, mine has those ceramic white racing stripes. It has the ceramic white inserts on the interior. I don't love that. I didn't custom order this car like I generally do. Um, I bought this one off the lot. This was right in the beginning of the COVID situation where everybody had stopped producing things and there wasn't, you couldn't pre-order. You had to literally just buy whatever the dealer had. And this one was, had all the options I was looking for. So I ended up with this. Um, it is the uh, automatic 10 speed. I'll bring you up just a little bit. It's the automatic 10 speed. It does have the 455 horsepower, 455 foot pounds of torque, uh, LT1 V8. So this video is basically the wash. The first thing you need to do uh, before you start to execute uh, the rest of the detail is get your car clean car vessel whatever because you know the marine the uh, one series is designed to be used on everything in fact our super seven the seven year pro hybrid coating that we have uh that is available to pro detailers to install uh if that particular product was developed with one of the one, one of the uh top boat manufacturers in the country uh so we developed that with them they wanted a factory um Kind of coating if you will uh, they also use some of my other products and so I, they wanted something incredibly durable for you know that would fight against salt water and whatnot so super 7 started its life 
as something that we designed for a major boat company. Uh, it has evolved exponentially into something you can use on pretty much anything, uh, which is pretty awesome, and you can use it on the interior of your vehicle. But we'll get to Super 7 because that would really be the final step uh, or one of the optional steps, if you will, of uh, finishing the vehicle because you can apply Super 7 and then apply the brand new triple trifecta top coat, uh, which I'll get to later on. So anyway, first order of business, you always want to walk around the vehicle, whether you're with a customer or if you're an enthusiast, you want the best that my range has to offer. Uh, you pick the one system. You always want to, no matter what you're doing or what line you're using or whatever, you always want to walk around the vehicle and take a look before you touch it at anything that stands out. That way you know uh, places that you're going to have to address uh, that are heavily soiled and whatnot. So as far as that goes, always walk around the vehicle, whether it's by yourself or with a customer, just to see what's happening. Now, with the one system, you've got a couple different options. And I'm a rinseless guy. You guys know that I love the rinseless wash. I'm all about rinseless. And um, as far as rinseless goes, with the one system, you've got Infinite Use Detail Juice 1. Now, that is a very versatile product, just like the original Infinite Use Detail Juice, but it's steps and leaps and worlds beyond as far as technology goes. So the original Infinite Use Detail Juice has a very basic polymer in it, nothing super fancy, but it does lots of things very well. So stepping that up and evolving the legendary Infinite Use Detail Juice into Infinite Use Detail Juice 1, uh, I wanted it to be more concentrated and I wanted it to be way stronger for a protective product. Uh, and equally as versatile and everything else, the Infinite Use Detail Juice, the original does. And so that's what we have. So as far as Infinite Use Detail Juice 1, um, you'll find that the cap is about a quarter of an ounce. So you want to use a half of a cap. If you got a 16 ounce bottle, half of a cap will do a wash. So a half of a cap in one gallon of water will do a full wash. So put that in the, uh, the wash bucket there. Um, as far as how it dilutes as a spray coating, which is what most people are using this stuff for, if they're, if they're not buying it for an incredibly versatile product that will do detail spray, wash, um, spray wax, you know, all, all of the, your, your pre-treatment, uh, lube, your clay bar lubricant, this will do all of that. Uh, now, obviously, the more you put into the mix, the more of the good stuff is being left, beh left behind. There is a, a threshold there of uh, streaking could occur if you apply too much of this into the water. Uh, so pay attention to your uh, dilutions on the bottle. That's very important. Uh, so as far as this goes, one eighth of an ounce uh, per wash. That's the same thing with We've evolved this even further. So this has the ceramic acrylics blend, the ceramic and the acrylic. Uh, we went a step farther and then made it twice as concentrated as Infinite Use Detail Juice 1. So this will dilute one to three as a spray coating. Um, so basically one bottle will do four bottles, which is 64 ounces of spray coating. Um, with this, this dilutes one to seven. So it's twice as concentrated, but this also has the ceramic acrylics with triple trifecta technology, which is the ceramic, acrylic, and graphene. So you got steps up in technology and in performance. So uh, choose which one you want. Regular Infinite Use Detail Juice 1 is available on the website. Uh, Infinite Use Detail Juice 1 with triple trifecta technology is going to be a um, just like Super 7, it's a pro detailer product only unless you buy one of the kits that I've got on DetailJuice.com, uh, the single car or the two car kits. Uh, go to the kits department of DetailJuice.com and you'd be able to see all of the information there on the kits uh, and all of that. So read about the kits to understand what I was just trying to get at. This video is about the first step in the process of the one system, which is washing. So you can choose either one of these to do your wash. Um, generally, Infinite Use Detail Juice 1 is what you're gonna go for because that's the one that'll be available to you on DetailJuice.com. 
So most people will be using this. If you're dealing with Super 7 on a regular basis or even triple trifecta top coat because they use the same technology, it's a completely different formula, but it's a, it's a, it's the same protective technology, just less of it in triple trifecta top, top coat. Uh, that particular product is additional gloss, slickness, depth, shine, all that cool stuff. Uh, and we'll get to that later, but this is superior technology. This is superior technology, but this is a step above this. So this is what you can get on the website. Um, when it comes to diluting this, um, I like to run four ounces to one gallon for your pre-soak, your pre-treatment and all of that stuff, uh, or your clay bar lubricant. Uh, even your detail spray, your spray wax, whatever you're using it for, uh, one part product, um, or I'm sorry, uh, four ounces to one gallon or 124 ounces of water to four ounces of infinite use detail juice one. Uh, so incredible uh, value in this product. I will have another video up. Uh, you should look for that about all of the individual one system products and how much value you get out of every product uh, because some people they don't understand they see a price that's higher than something else they know and they just stop right there they don't bother to do your simple math on your uh, dilutions and how things dilute because uh, that is where you figure out your value you take the total price that you pay for something and you divide it by how many uses and that's going to tell you your value and so infinite use detail juice one incredible value um, this, uh, like I mentioned, you're going to use an eighth of an ounce for a wash. Same with the infinite use, uh, detail juice one with triple trifecta. You're going to use one ounce, uh, or you're going to use an eighth of an ounce for the wash, but you're going to use two ounces per gallon to dilute. Uh, and then you'll dilute for the spray coating, uh, one part product to seven parts water. Uh, so as far as this goes, we've already put our eighth of an ounce in the bucket. Um, if you're not familiar with the Gary Dean wash method, I urge you to look around and uh, check out the videos that are out there uh, and that kind of thing. All right, so the first order of business is your pre-soak. So what you're gonna wanna do is put your uh, spray bottle on spray. And in here I have the Infinite Use Detail Juice One uh, diluted, I wanna say, I put a half of an ounce in here and filled it up with water. It's a little, I've been using it, but uh, so on this fender on my Camaro, I'm going to demonstrate using breathless wash with the Gary Dean wash method. First order of business, free soap. This is going to encapsulate the dirt. Uh, this has what we call rapid encapsulation technology. It also has salt shocker technology. So it's gonna break down any salt road salt, grime, any of that you have on your vehicle. So first order of business, pre-soak the panel. That's gonna encapsulate the dirt and make it so that it's more difficult to scratch. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put a couple of towels in the bucket, just like so. So after you spray the panel down, you then will take one towel out of the bucket, actually, Bring it just lightly, fold it in the force, and you're going to use only four sides of the towel, even though there's eight. So you start at the bottom, side to side, and there you go. That dirt right there will never see the surface of that car again because this doesn't go back in that wash bucket. You flip it to a clean side, then you can pre-soak and do, be, can't even talk, spray as much on as you want, basically. Uh, there's no wrong answer to your pre-soak. So instead of throwing this back in the clean bucket, we're going to use four sides of this and discard this towel. Then we're going to grab a clean towel. So basically now we're still on a brand new clean side. All right, so now we've used two sides of this towel. So then we flip it. Now we're going to use two more and then it's pretty much out of 
juice, if you will, uh, where you're gonna have to pick up a new towel out of the uh, bucket. So I'm gonna set this to the side, grab the uh, drying towel, and then now all there is to do is dry the panel. And there you go, that's clean. Panel's all dry. And so with the panels dry, now you can use you can, you can go to the next step, which would be in the next video, which is be uh, clay barring and decontaminating the surface. Um, and for all intents and purposes, uh, the next step is that clay bar process. So you could do one of two things. You could, while the panels were wet, you could take your clay bar and you can clay them before you just saw me dry. The step would be to clay with the, with the juice on the, the paint. And what that's gonna do for you is basically save you money. So you're not gonna have to dry it off, then have to use more pre-soak to use it as a clay bar lubricant. Uh, you can just add pre-soak where you need to if you don't have enough lubrication on the surface. So at this point, you go right into clay bar. Um, but the other option for washing, because not everybody is down for the rinseless like I am. Uh, the other option is universal shampoo. This is incredible and it was specifically designed and some soaps just say that they break down dirt and all of that, but I think that's complete BS. And for years I've always said, I'm not all about this foam cannon thing. So here's the thing. This soap was specific, and the off-road soaps were specifically designed to break down dirt and all of that so that you have less risk of scratching. But at the same time, uh, if you only put the foam on the car and then do a rinse, you are gonna take more of the dirt off with that rinse than if you didn't spray the soap, if, you, if you're catching where I'm at. So with universal shampoo, you absolutely can use a, um, I'm tripping, absolutely can use a foam cannon. And when you're gonna use a foam cannon with uh, universal, <laughs> universal shampoo, what I recommend, and this is just a cheapie off of Amazon, nothing fancy. You put in about an ounce of soap about an ounce of soap, okay? Then, about 32 ounces of water, a little less. All right, now I've got one ounce of soap in here with uh, like 31 ounces of water, and that's it. So if you're the type of person who likes to use a foam cannon, nothing wrong with that. Got my deionized water uh, system set up through my pressure washer. So um, if you were going to do a traditional wash, I would recommend going ahead and hosing everything down first to knock off the bulk of anything that's on the car. So go around the vehicle and hose it down. Um, I don't know what setup you're using, but uh, I removed the tip from this, this gun right here. Hook up the foam cannon. And uh, here we go. This is to show you uh, what universal shampoo at one ounce in the uh, reservoir with 31 ounces of water will do for foam. Super duper thick. So, you let that dwell for three or four minutes. Two, well, I'll say, you do, let that dwell for about two minutes and then 
what I recommend before you go in there and start washing this thing, and to do the traditional wash method with the soap and all of that, um, all you're gonna have to do is put the same amount of towels in the bucket and the same exact thing with the Gary Dean rinseless method uh, you can do with the traditional method. So you can use one towel, four sides of each towel, and then discard the towel and then get a new towel out of the bucket with the soap in it. Very similar process. You just got, you just have suds now. So put that nozzle back on. And so once you let that dwell for, a, for two minutes, you'll go back and you'll rinse the bulk off. The benefit to that is the soap will have done its job and broken everything down. Now with the pressure, you're gonna be washing it away. cool part about that soap is it has no extra bullshit in it it's just going to clean really well and the other cool part is it cleans really well but it's not going to strip your wax sealant or anything in fact it's a the perfect soap to uh and i say the perfect soap because i have the perfect soap in my infinite lineup which is awesome similar to this in fact uh universal shampoo came from the perfect soap but we evolved it a little bit more and made it well more perfect i guess <laughs> Um, but we all know perfection is not reality. Everything can be improved up upon, including me and everything that I do. That's why I shoot multiple videos on everything. That way uh, you don't have one chance to uh, decide if you like dealing with me or not. You've got multiple. So anyway, um, you rinse off the bulk and now it's time to start the wash. And you do that exactly the same way I just showed you at, earlier in the video where you would have your soap in the bucket and your suds and basically you'd put six to eight towels in the bucket, you'd pull one out, use four sides of that, rinse, discard the towel, grab a new towel. So the whole, the whole theory and the whole purpose behind the Gary Dean wash method, whether it's rinseless or traditional, is to ensure that you're not creating more scratches than you have to. Now, there is no way on the planet to ensure 100% of every time that you'll never put a scratch in your car. You've got particulates flying around everywhere. You've got random stuff in your towels. You've got all kinds of different variables. Um, so I would say to you, don't worry so much about every little fine scratch because, well, you're gonna be chasing your tail and going nuts. Uh, so personally, I don't like lots of scratches, but I'm not a swirl Nazi per se but I like clarity. So I can look past some lighter or even some deeper swirl marks if the paint is nice and crisp and clear and looks bright and shiny. I like clarity, um, not necessarily perfect paint, if you will. Uh, just mainly because I got lots of things to do. Swirls don't bother me that much. Now again, if it's ridden with swirls and looks like absolute garbage, then we'll fix them. Uh, if, if not, I can deal with a little bit of scratching uh, here and there because it's inevitable. There's no way to prevent a little bit of scratching. I don't care how precise and and how much time you take and how much care you put in, there's always potential for scratching, uh, especially if you're washing outside where everything's flying around, uh, pollen. I mean, there are so many factors that go into why do you scratch your car or why does your ha car have all these swirl marks? Um, and we're not gonna go into all that, but like I've mentioned, two ways to wash, Gary Dean wash method rinseless, Gary Dean wash method traditional, and you'll either use Infinite Use Detail Juice 1 or you will use Universal Shampoo. So that is step one in the one system. Thanks for watching, guys. Check out the next video. 813-846-4406 uh, is my cell, like I mentioned before. Check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation's group on Facebook where we talk about only my products, my processes, and what I've got going on. I hope you enjoyed this little demonstration, and thank you guys again for spending the time to listen to me babble. Have a great day, guys, and check out the next one.